In this video, I'm going to be walking you through a Lightcam 100 FPS game capture. So once you've loaded it up, this is what it will look like. So if I click the settings icon at the top, it brings up this menu here, as you can see, which is nice and cleanly laid out. So if I click onto mode, here we've got video recording, game recording, and the preview. Here we're just going to be talking about game recording. Next, we can choose our frames per second, all the way from 10 to 100. Here we can choose the dimensions for recording. I tend to leave this on 100% as there's not much need for the others when doing game recording. Here you can set your audio device, you can choose your microphone, a computer sound or a custom option. The audio format option lets you choose the format for your audio. It also means you can turn the audio off or just have it to use your system settings. This setting allows you to place your webcam over your footage or through Lightcam, which I think is great because it saves you having to do it later in editing software. Here you can choose what your mouse pointer looks like and change the icon and stuff, but I don't think this will be really of much use to anyone when doing game capture. But um, if you're going to be using this for the general recording mode, then this will be of use to you. Here you can set the format you want to capture images. You've got PNG, bitmap and JPEG. There's also a few options such as reduce lag in games, whether that's only in beta at the moment. Here you can choose the encoder you want to use when recording. You can see there's lots to choose from. I tend to just leave one on the recommended. This allows you to change the position of the game recording information, which is uh, basically a little icon appears in game which tells you your FPS and whether you're recording or you're paused, etc. And you can change where you want to position that on your screen or disable it altogether. Here you can choose to add a title to your videos. And you can also add credits as well. You can add a watermark. This feature allows you to lock your FPS, so if you're recording at 100 frames a second, it won't go above 100 frames a second. Here you can change your shortcut keys, which I think is pretty useful, because you might have other applications that require the same ones. Now built into Lightcam is a video converter, so you can convert your files, which I think is really useful. It saves you having to have another piece of software to do that. Here you can change where it saves the videos too. You can also change where it places a logs file. Here you've got the user manuals, frequently asked questions, you can contact them for support, and there's also an about as well. At the top here, there's a bar with some of the most important options, such as the mode you're recording in, the frames per second you're recording in, what you've locked your frames per second at, your audio device, your audio format, the options for the mouse pointer, and lastly, your webcam. In the middle here, it reminds us of our shortcut keys. So once we load a game up with Lightcam running in the background, we can see it places a little menu at the top which starts off green and tells us our shortcut key to start recording. It also tells us our FPS, what our limit is on our FPS, and how long we've been recording for. So once you start recording, the outside of the menu goes red and it tells you your shortcut key to stop recording and pause the recording. And when you have it paused, the outside goes yellow. There's a link in the description to find out more. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe.